it's time for... Commander Cash! Not everyone was this lucky. Hundreds of men came back brain dead, kept alive by cryogenic freezing. But without your help, we'll have to pull the plug on our frozen heroes. A $5,000 contribution can keep one of our brave men on ice for years. So don't forget, a doctor pet. Help support our frozen friends. For just $5,000, you can put your name or the name of a loved one on the vet of your choice. Makes a great gift. Donations can be arranged through your local OCP bank, mall, or superstore. All major credit cards accepted. Despite such public appeals, OCP admits it has fallen far short of raising the funds to maintain life support for the 142 medically brain-dead veterans under the corporation's care. Now a potential white knight has come to the rescue with a unique answer. Prominent cyberneticist and entrepreneur, Dr. Roger Young, who resigned from OCP two years ago to create his own company, Cybertech, wants to turn the vets into cops. Robocops! This gives them a new life and an opportunity to be productive again. Now, there are some religious nuts who call this a sin. Well, I think that it's much more sinful to let these unfortunate cryovets just fade away. And besides, Everybody loves RoboCop. They call RoboCop a security cyborg. We know what it really is, the dark spawn of Satan himself. And now the forces of damnation want to create an army of inhuman monsters. Only God can create life, not science. This blasphemy must be stopped. Amen. Down with Robocop. Amen. Down with Robocop. Down with Robocop. Down with Robocop. Down with Robocop. This is surveillance footage taken by Robocop, Mr. Mayor. The man handing you the money has been positively identified as Vlad Stitch Molotov, head of the Russian Mafia in Old Detroit. Uh, <laughs> alleged. He's never been convicted. Do you wish to comment on any of the evidence we've shown you? Yes. No comment. So, does this robot snoop have evidence on us or not? Doesn't really matter. The good reverend and his flock will turn up the heat on Robocop. Keep both of us out of jail. You had better be right. If not, I will have to find a way to deal with this nosy robot myself. This is an unlawful assembly. Please disperse, or there will be trouble. You soulless abomination. I do not fear you. Amen. I banish you. Come out, you foul metallic demon. I command you out, Satan. Unhand me, you soulless demon. You are messing with the power of the Lord. This is your final warning. Disperse. You don't scare us, Satan. Down with Robocop! Down with Robocop! Down with Robocop! You better go. Seeing you only seems to make them worse. Down with Robocop! Down with Robocop! All right, all right. Robocop is going now. And I suggest you all do the same. We've made our point. 
for now. Yes. But we'll be back. You can count on it. Don't worry. I still like you. the flat line, then let's quit. Okay, everybody, clear! Officer Alex Murphy shot to death in the line of duty. Legally, he's dead. We can pretty much do what we want. There's a new guy in town. His name's Robocop. Murphy, it is you. Bunch of crap. What'd I do? You exceeded the posted speed limit by 42 miles per hour in a school zone. Yeah. Reverend Bob's got your number, Buckethead. I don't have to listen to no machine. Turn off your engine. This is your final warning. Go get a grease job. Step out of the car, please. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Thank you for your cooperation. I told it the light was yellow. And it just went haywire. How awful for you. I tried to reason with it. And it tore my car apart and grabbed me. I can still feel those cold steel fingers wrapped around my throat. There, there, brother. The Lord was there to protect you. Amen. I don't blame you for suing the police. What, 300 million hardly seems enough. Well, I will demand a full investigation. It's a sad day when our police allow a machine to brutalize a decent citizen. It is so refreshing to see a public servant who for once is on the side of the Lord. Hallelujah, Brother Friendly. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! This is truly a spiritual moment. Friends, we have to leave now. Yes, we we're going to fight the good fight here at God Almighty Broadcasting Center. Arcade and shopping mall. Well, right now we're having our annual He Has Risen half price sale. That's where I buy all my clothes and cosmetics. And doesn't she look great? <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Keep those pledges rolling in. Make up. The switchboard is jammed, sir. Can I sell or can I sell, huh? <laughs> come out, you foul metallic demon! I command you out, Satan! You soulless abomination!
soulless abomination. Till death do us part. You foul metallic demon! You're gonna grow up to be big and strong. Just like that. What's with you, Alex? Why are you here? I have memories of this place. You're letting that Reverend Bob get to you. I will never know why so many people think God speaks to us through loudmouth jerks. He says, I have no soul. So what does he know? It's fakes like the Reverend Bob who are low in the soul department. You should see his financial records. Millions raked in from innocent people. You'd think there'd be some way for the law to stop him. Sometimes the law's not enough. Let us bathe in the waters of love, baby. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm, lordy, lordy. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Bob's wife? Yeah, she was at a condo downtown. Seems a perfect couple, been living apart for years. I also checked to see if the mayor had an alibi. You questioned the mayor? Oh, yeah, and get this. He says he was at home when Taker was shot. His wife says he was out all night. I want to put him with the BS analyzer. You want to put the mayor through a lie detector Just test? He's the mayor doesn't mean he's not a suspect, Sarge. Come on. Right here. Take a look at that, Maddie. What is it? Auto 9, armor pressing with an alloy coating. That look familiar? Yeah, a Robo's gun or one like it. We both know that piece is one of a kind. Another thing. Six shots came through that wall, dead on target. There's only one way to do that. Thermographic targeting. Oh, come on, Sarge. This is obviously a frame-up. There's no way Robo would kill Taker. I know that, and you know it. But OCP sees it differently. Now, Mr. Fraker from Security Concepts is down in Metro South right now. I just got word that he's already ordered Robocop shut down. He what? He can't do that. Who the hell does this guy think he is? He's the boss, Madigan. He can... Mad... He... It's like talking to a brick. And this is the last of the data from Robocop's memory. Uh, Stitch Molotov paying off Mayor Franklin. And uh, that's the last of them. What's going on? If I am shut down, my memory banks will be erased. You act like he's already been found guilty. Did you even ask him about last night? Dispatch tracking shows it off the air between 12 and 2. When I ask it why, the only thing it has to say is, Directive 1 prohibits me from answering that question. One. Serve the public trust. Well, it's obviously malfunctioning. The only solution is an internal affairs investigation. In the meantime, we'll have to shut it down. It is a he, okay? And the rules say any officer facing disciplinary action is entitled to a hearing of the police commission. That only applies to a human officer. It applies to all cops regardless. Come on. You can't expect us to treat this robot like a human being. But Robocop isn't just a robot. I mean, he's, he's unique. He, he's a phenomenon. Absolutely correct. That is your opinion, Dr. Young. I did design Robocop's neural matrix, which makes me somewhat of an expert on the subject, wouldn't you say? Fine. You want a police hearing? You've got one. Tomorrow morning. Uh, Charity Lippincott, Dr. Young. <laughs> it's an honor to finally meet you in person. I, I heard about your plan to robotize the cryovets. It it's an ingenious idea. Well, thank you, Dr. Rippincott. Uh, Lippincott. Uh. I was the designer of Robocop's motor circuitry. I could sure use some help right now. Robocop is refusing to violate Directive One. I see. 
I've developed a new program which might help. Could we take a look at the optic flow? Ah, yeah. oh, this is very exciting. Uh, right this way. Uh. Murphy, what's going on? I cannot violate my directive. Damn it! If they shut you down, you'll lose your memories. You know that. End of Murphy. Okay, this is a death sentence. I know. You claim to give an account of your actions on the night in question would violate Directive 1. To protect the public's trust. Yes. All right. Then let's examine the murder. The bullets that killed Reverend Taker were made by OCP security concepts for your gun alone. That is correct. May I see your gun, please? Oh, thank you. Is it uh, fully loaded? Yes. And to fire it, I just pull the trigger like this. Doesn't seem to work. The gun is encoded. It can only be fired by me. So, you're saying that this gun, which killed Reverend Taker, can only be fired by you? Yes. Mr. Mayor, I was the case. Members of the commission, in view of the overwhelming evidence, I am forced to move that a full internal affairs investigation is required and that a RoboCop be shut down pending its results. Are we all in favor? No. No one move. Drop your weapons. God's sakes, do what he says. Security, this is Fraker. Robocop's escaped and it's taken a police officer captive. Give me OCP internal affairs. You can put that down now. When you blew your cue back there, you weren't supposed to make your move until after the vote. I'm not programmed for acting. Sorry, it's all right, it worked. They will still say we have broken the law. Hey, Murphy, there's no law that says any cop has to be put to death just because he's under investigation. The only chance we have here is to clear you. Trouble. Oh, hang on. Turn left. I'll get to the bottom of this, all right? You know where to find me. Right. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! All right, you, you, go and get her. Move it. The rest of you hold your fire and the hostage is clear. Stay where you are. Don't move, or we will be forced to shoot! Damn it! Open fire! 
the river but came up empty-handed and at this hour the search continues for robocop wanted for the brutal killing of popular evangelist reverend bob taker robocop a murderer say it ain't so robo the copy took hostage what was her name detective lisa madigan i want to see her service file my nose is telling me this abduction stinks worse than a garbage truck in a heat wave anything else everything ocp's got on robocop and i mean everything right down to the kind of oil it uses and I want to see the police files on the Taker murder. And get me a sandwich. I skipped lunch. That mess at the pier is scandalous. I'm sorry I put in the initial call. John Fraker, Security Concepts. Smith, OCP Internal Affairs. In spite of what you may think, I'm still in charge. As of now, all police communications will be routed here to our command post. Now, hold on. I'm the OCP VP here. You'll need my authorization for that. Mr. Fraker. If I had time, I'd explain the tactics of hunting a fugitive. And I'd point out that OCP's contract with Internal Affairs Concepts gives me total authority, so I don't have to explain myself to you. But I don't have the time. So stay out of the way and let me do my job. Let the record show that His Honor the Mayor insists on being questioned with the use of a voice stress analyzer. Only to clear my name. Where were you the night Reverend Taker was killed between the hours of midnight and two? At home, in bed. Were you in any way involved in the killing of Reverend Taker? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well, the VS is working properly. I want you to deliberately lie. What's your name? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Well, what's going on? Well, I can only guess. His long exposure to politics has made it impossible for his vocal responses to convey the truth. Uh, Mrs. Taker, uh, what have How you... How dare you question this fine man about my husband's murder? His honor does not have an alibi for the night of the murder. Well, he does now. Bambi, uh, Mrs. Taker. Can it, Fred? He was with me all last night. Last night. It, uh, checks. This is a blatant attempt of the police to cover for one of their own. But it won't work. Bambi, Detective Madigan is simply doing her job. Oh. Oh, yes, of course. No hard feelings, dear? No hard feelings, dear. This is all you could get on the late Murphy Alex J? That's it. According to OCP specs, his brain was used to run the autonomic system, but the man's memory was wiped clean. Irish Catholic. Family man. Married ten years, one child. This guy believed in tradition and faith. Those have a way of surviving. 
long after we die. That's Madigan's car. Yeah, I smelled it right. St. John Paul was Murphy's family church. Okay, I'm going in. Call in the Delta SWAT team. Tell them to form a perimeter around the church. No one open fire or attempt entry until I give the order. Will you put that down? Are we clear? Yes, sir. All right. It's me. Well, I guess the Vatican bank crash sure hit this place hard, huh? What did you find out? Well, we can scratch the mayor off our list of suspects. He and Bambi Taker were together all night. What about Stitch Molotov? Airtight alibi as usual. It looks bad, doesn't it? Not gonna lie to you, Murphy. It looks real bad. But why can't you tell me what you were doing that night? Directive one forbids me from responding. Yeah, yeah, damn it, Murphy. I'm your partner, okay? Your friend. I'm trying to help you. I am sorry, but you must trust me. There is no way out, people. The place is surrounded. And you're coming with me. No, no, shoot! I wasn't going to shoot him. Keep running forever, Murphy! Arrest her! Aiding and abetting a fugitive! Take you in. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Look out, he's coming! Don't shoot! You idiot! Family 
surfaces. damaged. Need living cut. Give me your hand. I'm patching you through now. Designed my circuits. I know the prototype. Charlie showed it to me once. He made me promise not to tell. He's not even supposed to have it. See? According to the prototype, this will affect temporary repairs. Alex, why don't you just tell them that I'm your alibi? People would not understand what you are, what you mean to their lives. You're a real gentleman, Alex. Lippincott has a prototype of my circuitry. If there is a duplicate of that... Then there may be one of your gun, too. I'll check it out. I told you, no one is supposed to see this. I need to help Robo. He was here. Oh, didn't Sergeant Parks warn you about lying? But I'm not lying. He was here. Sorta. He was all fuzzy, like one of those holograms. A holograph. Yeah, yeah. he was all messed up. So I showed him the prototype, and he fixed himself. At least I hope he did. Do you think he'll be okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm sure he's all right. Listen, I want you to tell Sergeant Parks to log me out to Cybertech. I'm gonna go talk to Dr. Young. Got it. The scientist who designed your gun also created your neural matrix. Dr. Roger Young of Cybertech. I have to speak with Madigan. No time. We both better get out of here. Come on, come on, move it. You're almost through.
Welcome, Dr. Ribbencourt. My lab is down the hall on your left. Last door. Hey, Robo, are you okay? Yes, thanks to you. Where is Charlie? He was here, but he went out again. He said he was going to talk to a young doctor. Dr. Young? Yeah, him. What's wrong? He may be in danger. Go to be at dispatch. What do you want me to tell her? Robocop's helmet. Yes, the prototype. It's against OCP rules, I know. Hope you can keep it to yourself. No, no, uh, in fact, I kept my prototype, too. That's what gave me my idea. Do you mind if I run a theory by you? No, not at all. Damn! SWAT teams have searched every subway station in zones four and five. Still nothing. They're checking on six and seven now. I hope you guys never find them. Listen, if you care anything about what happens to Robocop, pray that I do find him, because the only other choice I've got is to kill him. I got an emergency call coming in on a police band. They spotted Robocop at Cybertech. Good. What's he doing there? That's what I intend to find out. Listen, round up the rest of the SWAT team. Meet me there, all right? Wait, wait, wait. Take me with you. He will listen to me. I know he will. All right, get in. Move out, move out. So, I got to thinking. If I kept a prototype of my work, maybe whoever designed Robocop's gun kept a prototype too. What do you think? Dr. Lippincourt, that is brilliant. Mean like this. Uh. You killed Reverend Taker. You used a thermographic targeting in that helmet to blame it on Robocop. A plus. If Taker had kept up his campaign against Robocop, OCP might have been forced to cancel my project to robotize the cryovets. Ah, uh, but uh, why, why frame Robocop? I mean, if, 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 he, if he shut down, it won't help you. On the contrary. No one has ever been able to discover how or why Robocop really works. There's only one procedure that's never been tried. A full autopsy. Slippincott's car, what is he doing here? Actually, I was going to pin the whole thing on Stitch Molotov, but you make a much better suspect. You made a copy of the gun, you killed Taker because you feared that he was a threat to Robocop and to you. Some people do anything to save their job. Excuse me, Doctor.
arrested. Glad to see you. It's a nice shooting, partner. If it means anything, this is one time I'm glad I didn't get my man. But if you tell anyone I said that, I'll deny it. I can keep a secret. Trust me. <laughs> 